Anna University was established in 1978 to offer higher education in engineering, technology and allied sciences relevant to the current and projected needs of the society. Besides promoting research and disseminating knowledge, it fosters cooperation between the academic and industrial communities. The Center for Water Resources was established to pursue teaching, research, consultancy and impart training programs in hydrology, water resources engineering and the like. Among many other projects and research works happening there, one such project is the soil aquifer treatment. Groundwater is the source for more than 85% of India's rural domestic water requirements. In certain high demand areas, groundwater development has already reached a critical stage resulting in acute scarcity of the resource. The secondary treated water is first introduced into the experimental setup. M. Tillai Bakim from the Department of Water Resources explains to us about the soil aquifer treatment system. This is the soil aquifer treatment system. In real field, uh, one percolation basin is uh, created in the field and then the re recycled water uh, is obtained from the wastewater treatment plant. That water will be infiltrated into that uh, percolation basin zone. And after that, uh, that uh, recycled water will be infiltrated into soil medium. That uh, soil medium will be a, a vadas zone. That vadas zone will be simulated, in, uh, simulated into that, uh, this, these soil columns. This uh, simulator soil aquifer system operated under different uh, wetting and sagging period and then the different bonding depth and different soil type. Of, uh, soil type. Uh, in my study, this, uh, this uh, soil aquifer treatment system is simulated into acrylic soil column. This is an acrylic material. This is a storage ele uh, elevation tank, the inference point for this study. Water will be, uh, this water will be entered uh, into column. Uh, for this column, the ponding depth will be 20 cm. Then uh, different type of soil will be uh, filled, filled with uh, each column. 50 cm uh, soil depth will be provided. After that, effluent will be collected from the bottom of this column. And then uh, water quality for this effluent will be analyzed in uh, our uh, uh, wet chemistry is a laboratory. This is the effluent point. In that point, one percolator plate uh, arrangement will be provided at the bottom of this column. The, uh, that plate will be used for uh, filtering arrangement. Then this column filled with the sandy loam soil. That sandy loam soil will be obtained from the uh, near Anna University Civil Treatment Plant. And then the uh, ponding depth for this uh, column will be 20 cm. Uh, during the wetting period, that uh, effluent will be collected from this uh, effluent point and then water quality for this effluent will be analyzed. Further, the physically treated sewage water undergoes subsequent chemical and biological processes before it becomes useful to the mankind. Thus, secondary treated wastewater is reused for aquifer recharge to attenuate water poverty and be utilized for recharging the depleted aquifer. Thus, the soil aquifer treatment system helps in a long way to increase the use of secondary treated wastewater.